Alright, survivors, welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is now Tuesday, day two of country life here for Punchwood. And he's feeling quite refreshed. He's energized. He's ready to roll. But first, we're going to watch TV. <laughs> Let's get the weather from the weather channel here. Uh, looks like it's going to rain all day tomorrow, says the weatherman. And remember, this uh, weather report is for the following day, so today is actually supposed to be pretty sunny, if I recall, from yesterday. Let's check Channel 2, Fortune Teller. We don't have the best cable service out here in the country, so we only have two channels right now, anyway. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something. They feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Ooh, so much pressure. Okay, our fate is in our hands, my friends. Oh, we got mail. Let's check the mail. And, uh, oh, this is Willy. Okay, Willie's a fisherman. Hello there! Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down by the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Yeah, so Willie is the fisherman. And here's his little quest. Someone named Willie invited you to visit the beach south of town. He says he has something to give you. And we have to go visit Willie before 5 p.m. Because then he, uh, he closes. So here's his shop right here. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The fish shop. So we'll go down and visit him today. We'll be sure to do that. But first things first, let's um, let's get our crops going here. And I just want to move some stuff around. I don't have to do any hoeing today. I don't have any seeds. Although we can get seeds from this grass over here, so maybe we'll maybe we'll get lucky and get a wild growth. But first things first, uh, I wanted to make. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any wood. You know what? Let's take down this tree right here. You know, I was thinking about maybe saving this tree. Because I wanted some shade, I like trees in my yard, but we can grow trees later. I've never actually done that yet. Again, I have played the game about 15, 20 hours in one other playthrough before starting this series, but um, I didn't really get to the trees, fruit trees, or anything yet. So let's put a torch down. I think I said I want another torch over here, right? Yeah, let's just put it down right about now. And I think. We should probably water the crops, is what you do as a farmer. So we'll just do that here. These are the parsnips. And get my squats in at the same time. I don't know why he has to water on his tiptoes like that, but it's kind of cute. and get a little exercise. Gotta get used to all this physical labor. <laughs> Poor uh, Punchwood here spent 20 years of his life working for Joja Corporation in a cubicle. So, I, I, bet, I bet he's feeling it right now. He's probably he's very sore. Uh, I wanted more stones and all that jazz because I wanted to make a, a little more... Um, uh, a bigger path and also a fence and a gate, but we still have to keep an eye on the time down there. That's all right. Let's clear out some of this down here. Maybe we'll get lucky with a seed. And let's take down this tree over here. Keep an eye on that energy. <laughs> uh, oh. ah. What, no chainsaw? I need power tools. This stuff's for the birds. Eventually, we will be able to upgrade the tools with better grade materials. Oh, here's a little sapling. Get it. All right. Now we have 37 wood. That's not enough stones. Let's go over here and get these stones. What time is it? 9 a.m. Okay, so Willie's shop is just opening up right now. We definitely want to go down there and visit him. That stump right there we can't get rid of with this axe. Just, uh, nope. Not strong enough. Either I'm, oh, I'm not strong enough and neither is the axe. <laughs> we both need an upgrade. All right, we'll clear all that out. Looking mighty fine now. Um... Here, let's get this grass in here to see if we can't find a seed. It looks like scything through the grass here doesn't use energy. So if you're using the right tool for the job, looks like you use less energy too. So if I'm using an axe on the wood, for example, because I think you see, used to be able to. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, you can use a pickaxe on. What the heck? That's a little frog in there. Oh, I want him as a pet. Yeah, so you can do that. Chop weeds with a pickaxe, but it's not, not very bright. All right. Let's see if we have enough wood right now to do something real quick. Uh, well, first we're going to get cobble path done. And then I want to make fence. 
Not sure how much I'm going to need. So these wooden fences actually do break down over time. So you got to keep an eye on them and repair them every now and then. Or replace them, actually. I don't think you can repair them. Uh, let's put this fence, like, right here. I just want to try it. See how this looks. Oh, dear. We're going to need... Oh, I have six. Okay, yep. Got the wrong one. That's the gate. Let's do... I'm not sure how big that gate is. I think we're going to have to... Um, oh, shucks. And the gate's going to go right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm going to need one more. Oh, can I make another piece of fence? Oh, I can. Never mind. <laughs> Actually, let's make a few. Yeah, there we go. Simple math. And let's put that right there. Oh, sweet. I love it. And let's extend it out the back side over there. So it matches on either side. And then put that thing down. Open it. Close it. Nice. And we will um, we'll match this side. Oh, I missed with that seed. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, we'll match that another time when we get more seeds. We don't have the seeds right now, so no big deal. All right, let's dump all this stuff in here and let's get a move on. I'm going to drop that in the bin to sell. And I think I would like to extend my path a little bit here. How about we come out here? Can I go right to the... Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. Um, how's that? Yeah, swell. All right. Looking good. Now let's get rid of the side. Nope. Don't need that where we're headed. And I think we're good. Okay, let's go see Willy. Because it sounds urgent. It's already past noon. And we want to kind of keep our eyes open. Oh, look at Woodpecker. For any wild growth. So we can find um, daffodils, dandelions, horse radish, and I think uh, leeks, right? Did we find a leek yesterday? Yeah. And they can be sold, they can be given away as gifts. Some of them can be eaten to restore he um, health and energy. So not a bad idea to keep your eyes open for those sorts of things. Oh, 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 somebody posted up here on Piers. Bulletin board, help wanted. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 90 gold to any fisherman who catches three anchovy. Good luck, Willie. Oh, this is Willie. Yeah, you get to keep the fish, too. <laughs> oh, that's odd. Uh, oh, he just wants to keep the art of fishing alive. Right. Okay, that's not so odd, then. Let's go down and see Willie right now. He's down to the south of town. I wonder where everybody is. Well, it's Tuesday. People are probably working right now. Oh, look at the bunny. Watch out. Right in the bush. Everybody's probably working. They're doing their own thing. Um, yeah, this is the right way. Let's go check my map. So the head on the map. Oh, oh, here we are. Okay, a little cutscene. There's Willie now, smoking his pipe, enjoying the sea breeze. Ah, salty sea air. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. That's my Willie the fisherman voice. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the fish shop once in a while. Fish shop. That's the fish shop. Short for fish shop. Woohoohoo! Nice! I received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need some supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. <laughs> it was a dad joke. Yeah, I'm, I'm very familiar with dad jokes there, Willie. <laughs> Alright, so that's great. So we got our first bamboo pole. We can get new and better poles eventually. But there's something like 40 different fishes in the game. And they, they can be caught... Well, there are various types of fish caught at various times of day. Various weather conditions. 
um, different seasons too, I think. So we're gonna fish right here on the pier since we're already here. And it's just a matter of tossing in your um, your line with your little bobber there, and then waiting for a hit. Hit! Oh my gosh, my my! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That wasn't me. And we gotta keep the bar behind the fish. Hold on, I'm gonna explain what just happened there. That why I did not fart. <laughs> That's my Xbox controller plugged into my PC. It must be on shimmer. Or shake, rattle, and roll, or whatever you call it. I got a sardine! It's a widow mini one! I got a widow, widow, willy! I got a widow, willy! 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 I'm keeping the artificial live! Check out my, my sardine, man! He bought it. Oh, what else you got? You got trout soup. So it doesn't sell much. Bamboo poles and trout soup. All right, I'm gonna go back. See you, Willie. That's exciting. I love fishing in games. I love fishing in real life. I'm a fisherman. Did a lot of freshwater fishing back in the day. Still do a little bit with my son now and then when we have the opportunity. So here we are. Here's our collections. We can collect all 40 fish and even some shellfish here, as you see. We got cra we got uh, lobsters and crabs and clams. And there's my sardine. I caught one so far, and it's the biggest one so far, too. One inch. All right. Willie would be proud. And now, if we get a max... Oh, yeah, max. Max is the maximum cast. I'm not really sure what that means. I think it's the, the, the farthest distance and the quickest catch. Oh, there goes my Xbox controller, and I got a piece of trash. Yeah, hold on. It's on vibrate. Gosh, darn it. Let's turn the vibrate off. Rumble! Yeah, rumble on your own time. Uh, let's try to catch one more fish. Max. Ooh. I'm good at this. I know I, I, whoa! Seaweed. You can eat that. I'm gonna eat that right now. Yes! Mmm! Oh, it's delicious! Oh, sort of a little energy. Now I can fish some more. <laughs> I'm curious about those bubbles. Maybe I should go throw my line over there. What time is it? It's 3.50. Oh my gosh, this whole day. Wasted. Fishing. Mm -hmm. I should be farming or something. Yeah, see, so there's a little bit more time between... Oh, come on now. All right. Fish ain't biting anymore. Oh, wait, the bubbles are gone. Ooh. Uh, that's something I might want to look into. Maybe if there's bubbles, we should cast a line out. Oh, I love that under the water there. Anyway, all right, let's. Uh, it's four thirty. We should probably get a move on. We got these shrines here too. Eat it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. There's got to be something we can do with these shrines. I don't know what yet. I'm gonna eat the seaweed. I was thinking maybe of gifting it to somebody, but I don't think anyone would like that. <laughs> and if you give them something they don't like, then it's a negative impact so here we got a broken bridge and i can fix it with 300 pieces of wood and we'll get over to the other side it's five o'clock let's check the shed oh this is elliot's house he lives there but only his friends can enter he doesn't consider me a friend yet oh here i think that's him look at that handsome devil he looks like uh fabio or someone like that model Okay, guys, I'm trying all kinds of voices for Elliot. I think I got it. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. He is a stud. Wow. All right, well, not my type, however. So, we'll see ya. All right, let's, uh, it is 540 now, huh? Hmm, still nobody about. What else could we do? You know what we should do? Oh, here's some peeps. Hey, peeps. This is Shane. What? What do you want? Go away. <laughs> he was the one that was drinking in the saloon. He didn't want to talk then either. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. It's Alex. He's all right. We'll see you around. You betcha. Now, hold on one second here. We've met Leah, Shane, Penny, Harvey, Elliot, Alex, Clint, Pierre, Caroline, Abigail, Gus, Emily, and Pam, and Maru. Um, so we have, well, we still have lots more to meet, don't we? You guys. Uh, we sure do. 11 more people. Okay. Well, there's no rush. They're not going anywhere. 
Can we head into Pierre's and buy a seat? Oh, it looks like exercise class is over. I think all the ladies were over here exercising, doing Zumba or something. Hey, Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Oh, we didn't meet Jody yet. Right, I forgot. Okay. Um, well, I'm glad to see that the uh, the numbers here are fixed. The 010 is now in the scroll where it's supposed to be. And isn't she beautiful? Sadly, Jody's uh, spoken for. Yeah, she's married. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. And she's so upbeat and pleasant. I really like Jody. How come all the married ones are so awesome? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Well, oh, there's Robin. She's the uh, realtor. Actually, she's the carpenter or something. And then, uh, who is this young lady? Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Yeah, eventually we can um, we can raise animals. But uh, we're far from that right now. Let's just take a look at... Yeah, see, Jody is married. Not available. Neither is Robin. Darn. All right. Anyway, hey, Pierre, what's up? Sometimes I get new items in stock, so make sure to stop by every so often. All right, I will. How's Abby doing? Oh, she's... Playing Nintendo. Abby, can I come in? I'm pretty good at Nintendo. Like to play. Uh, nope. Oh, God. Here comes Dad. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Run. Whew. Whew, that was close. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Seven ten. Let's um. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's go down this way. I didn't bring my scythe, which could be a problem. We're going to cut through the woods. Oh, we're going to follow Marnie, in fact. I'm not stalking you, Marnie. It's okay. Just passing through. <laughs> this is Marnie's ranch. We're going to pass right by Marnie's. And I think this leads up to my ranch. Yeah, my old farm. See? Uh, well, my farm. Pelican Town to the right, to the east. This is our farm plot. Wizards out there. We don't really have... Well, I guess we could go visit the wizard. But then getting back could be rough because this is all overgrown. Let's go visit the wizard. What the heck? He's not too far. Keep our eyes open for wild growth. We do a little night fishing. Why don't we do a little night... Quick... Oh, you know what? I think the wizard's going to close. I think he might close his doors, so let's hustle it up. I was going to stop and fish real quick, but... Yeah, I think he's got business hours, too. Let me check. Oh, dang it! It's locked, but I can hear someone inside. Wizard! Hello, it's a new farmer. Let me in. I don't think chopping down the wizard's door is really a good idea. Not recommended. Mm -mm. Let's not do that, but let's fish in this pond. Oh, jeez, that was a horrible cast. That wasn't much better. All right, 9 o'clock. Let's catch a fish in the pond. Or two, see what we can catch. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, man, it's getting darker, darker. I got a hit. And let's catch this one. Yeah, it's a fish, good. So, yeah, occasionally you can catch junk and seaweed. This was an easy one. That was an easy catch. What do we got? It's a smallmouth bass. 14-inch smallmouth bass. That's huge for a smallmouth bass. That's pretty big. I don't think I've ever caught a smallmouth bass 14 inches, and I've been fishing quite a lot. Largemouth bass, maybe. But, all right, anyway. Maybe they exist somewhere. Let's get home now, and it's going to be rough going because I can barely see... And we're going to have to cut through all this overgrowth. Oh, look at this mess, guys. Oh, boy. This is not going to be easy. Cut straight up. But I can't see a darn thing. We can walk through the grass. Oh, yeah, we walked through the grass. It's just the rocks that get in the way. Oh, gosh, this is scary. Middle of the night, going through this dark forest. I see light. Light in the distance. This is my farm and my home. Oh, good. Goodness gracious. Let's throw that in there. Stones. The fish. 
And the trash. We're not going to get any money for the trash, but it's worth a shot. And we'll toss the wood in there and the hole. And it's 11.30. Let's go to bed. Time for bed. Oh, so cozy in my cottage here. Cozy cottage. Good night. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Let's see what we got here for cash. Oh, we got 50, 50 gold for that smallmouth bass. Not bad. 68 gold all told. Okay. Not a bad haul. All right, we'll see you guys next time. What was that?